Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's the female equivalent of don't put your dick in crazy? If you sleep with dogs, expect fleas. My grandma has always told me this term in relation to hanging out with any bad characters in general. If you lay down with the dogs, you'll get up with the fleas. Basically, the company you keep can get you in serious trouble. Learned this first hand watching my parents. Just because you're not the one committing a crime or doing the bad thing, if you're around people that are doing bad shit, you're eventually going to get caught up in a bad legal scenario. Knew a mostly straight edge guy who ended up going to jail because he picked his friend up from work, his friend had a big duffel bag. Turns out that bag was full of drugs, huge amounts of weed and some other stuff. They got pulled over. He was in jail for three months before he was cleared. His baby mama had a baby on the way. They're still friends. Don't date a fixer-upper. You want a boyfriend, not a project. Edit, some of y'all just make me sad. How can adults, or grown-ass human beings, not tell the difference between someone who's taking steps, of their own volition, to improve themselves, versus having to nag and pester them to do it, for their own good? Edit 2, I suppose, if we could distinguish between the two, this wouldn't have a whack of upvotes, which, thank you for the support, and it wouldn't be a problem. Sigh. Don't join the construction crew. Even if you really need that pipe laid. Don't ride the crazy train. Ozzy, all aboard. Ah ha 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 ha. Guitar riff. I I I. If he cheated on her, he'll cheat on you, not so I just edit. If he cheated with you, he'll cheat on you is probably closer to what I meant. Closely followed by, if he slapped her. Closely followed by, if all his exes are crazy. Last ones basically if everywhere you go smells like shit, check your shoe. If you meet one asshole throughout your day, they're probably an asshole. If you meet assholes all day long, then you're probably the asshole. What if they all live in Texas? He'll have to hang his hat in Tennessee. If all his exes are crazy he's about to make you crazy too. I never read that as he'll make you crazy, I always read it as no matter how sane you are, he'll always make you out to be crazy when talking about you. I had an ex that I was trying to help get in shape be encouraging eating right, but if the relationship ended on poor terms I'm sure he'd describe me as controlling or not happy with who he is as a person. Abusive people make you insane. My ex made me do insane things. Things I didn't care about built up and made me lose it. Screaming insane. The second I finally escaped, and I do mean escaped, I was 90% calmer about everything. All my chill came back. I can handle damn near anything now when there isn't someone trying to gaslight and forward slash or beat me all the time. There's a distinction between confidence and arrogance. Try to tell the difference sooner than later. Is it confidence in your pussy, or is it vaginal hubris? I would always recommend asking your ab forward slash gyn to check out any vaginal hubris. Try not to get involved with controlling abusive assholes that might kill you. This reminded me of the quote, men are afraid that women will laugh at them. Women are afraid that men will kill them. Margaret Atwood. One of Ridley Scott's early movies The Duelists had a quote that this always makes me think of. Ferrod, I knew a man who was stabbed to death by a woman, gave him the surprise of his life. Laura, and I once knew a woman who was beaten to death by a man. I don't think it surprised her at all. No poco if he loco. Don't fuck me Tony, don't you ever try to fuck me. I love how everyone glosses over how weird that movie got at the end right before the shootout. You mean with coked out Tony and his sister? Yeah now that I think about it, it was really weird near the end there. You can't fix him. Lol something my friend likes to say is unless he wears a diaper, you can't change him. Don't let crazy put their dick in you. Don't let a loon in your poon. Heard my GF's mom say don't let the loon in the poon. Don't sit on a lunatic. Luadic. You can't fix someone that chooses to be broken. Stop trying to play build a BAE workshop. Someone that's choosing to drown will pull you under with them. Build a BAE workshop. This ain't build a bitch. It's don't jam your clam on crazy. I'm not sure where I saw that. Probably a very old Twitter screenshot, Elmeo.
I heard don't slam your clam on crazy about 15 years ago, so I think it predates Twitter. Twitter's worryingly 16 years old. Don't feed strays. No discouragement to dogs, just wandering roving crazy men in need of someone to mother them. Reminds me of that quote I don't date anymore. I just foster men until they find their forever homes. You need a boyfriend not a son. Don't give crazy any hope. The harassment and borderline stalking by crazies that think they have a shot is not talked about enough. I'm sure it's scary for a girl to take a chance on a weirder guy and then realize he's actually very weird and not just the quiet cool type of weird. Getting them to go away is probably impossible and then you have the risk of seeing them in public again. Sounds horrible. I felt bad for someone in college because nobody was talking to him. Then I learned why nobody was talking to him when he seemed very excited about blowing up a horse. I could not get him to leave me alone. While I was talking to a friend about mini golf, he came up to us to excitedly talk about the foreskin he kept in a Ziploc bag. Nope, never again. Don't lend your beaver to a deceiver. There isn't a clear equivalent, because don't put your dick in crazy hoes a tone of oh ho ho. Don't do that, she crazy lol. But for women, it's more like please be careful or you will be murdered forward slash raped. If we're looking for equivalent advice a friend would give you about potentially crazy people, I think it would be text me so I know you're okay or don't leave a public area with him. I mean, for the most part, all women I know have a friend or two they send a picture of the date, name, and location they are going to. It's the in case I get murdered this is who it was friend. They'll be able to tell the police. It never really occurred to me that I do this but I do. It's subconscious and just normal in a sad way. Man, this world is crazy. 30 plus guys looking for teens. 99% of the mush heads looking to prey on Ave girls. Edit, S. The 1% is considering the arranged marriages where neither party wants to get married but are forced to due to family pressure. Common in my culture. My parents being a prime example. Never seen a hint of love between the two of them, only resentment and how neither of them gets each other. 11 year age difference. 19 and 30. Four kids later they absolutely hate each other. I wouldn't call my father a predator but he genuinely had no choice or say in the matter just like my mother. They didn't repeat the cycle and were able to raise four highly educated kids with normal happy lives. Love my parents dearly but I can acknowledge the grossness. Yes it is just as creepy if the genders were reversed, although I haven't met anyone personally in that situation to comment hence I did not need to clarify that, also the question is asking the female equivalent. Why do I have to talk about my viewpoint on genders being reversed when the question doesn't ask for it? If it doesn't exactly match the syntax forward slash wording, I apologize. English is my third language. But you should get the gist of it right. Don't let a pedophile groom you. Don't let a 30s man stop you from getting an education and financial freedom. Don't be someone's princess be self-sufficient. Let yourself be a child. It how to word this exactly. Please make sure to also include Pashto and Urdu versions if you find better words to express this. Cheers. I'm in my 30s now, happily married plus career. I had been approached by men in their 30s since when I was 16, not at all uncommon in the culture, I would call them uncle, culture thing, respectful to call elders that, and see them absolutely seethe, like dude, you're literally twice my age wtf do you want with a 16 year old. I made the decision of marrying my husband with enough experience to see through most bullshit forward slash lies. The compliments and gifts I'd receive as a kid from these uncles was just so predatory. It was confusing at that time for me, for another girl it might have meant the world to, as someone in her 30s I'm absolutely horrified. Heck I was still growing taller at 16, I had just started getting my period. This guy straight up buys me makeup and perfumes out of the blue. Like I'm just walking home dude WTF. Absolutely gross. I wasn't particularly more mature or wiser at 18, maybe less stupid but definitely not any wiser and I looked exactly like I did at 16. No real difference except maybe I was one taller. Shit I'm 26 and wouldn't go below 21. WTF is wrong with some people. They date super young and less experienced because anyone who's been around the block a couple time will run like hell and can't be manipulated as easily. Half your age plus 7 is the lower limit once you reach 24. Calls girls whores. 
Close the doors. If he's got major issues, he can use his hand and tissues. Don't reproduce that shit. Don't copy that floppy. If he has to tell you he's a nice guy trademark, he's a complete and utter douche. Girls don't have crazy boyfriend stories because if you have a crazy boyfriend, you just die Donald forward slash childish gambio. In order to be in my life your baggage must either fit into the overhead compartment and forward slash or securely under the seat in front of you. Don't slip, trip and land on a dick, head. Yeah, listen to Eminem and drive. Duh. Wait those lines were about the crazy wife though.